Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Uh, before we get started here, if you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, please be sure and tap on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Uh, if you tap the little like button, we appreciate that too. And don't forget we have t-shirts. If you want a t-shirt, I think our t-shirts are pretty nice, but if you want a t-shirt, all you need to do is go to our, our, our web page, which is pacificmike.com. That's it, pacificmike.com. Okay, moving right along. I'm a little bit frazzled. It is so hot today, I can't tell you. I mean, it is, it is way, way hot. Three figure, three, three digits. <laughs> I'm about to melt, but it's okay because I'm getting my flathead motor, my flathead 80 motor, my big flathead motor. I've been working on it. And let's see, in our last video, we, we lapped the cases together. In other words, we got these mating surfaces all perfectly fitted so the cases will fit perfectly and seal up real nice and all that sort of thing. So now what we're getting started on is the bearing races. We want to lap those, just more case preparation. I've still got a couple of threads to do and a couple other things. I must have loaned somebody my helicoil kit for timing plugs because I cannot find it, which means I'm going to have to buy one. Anyway, so making a short story long, these are the bearing races right here. This is the left one where the sprocket shaft comes out. The one on the other side is the pinion shaft. Now, we did an Evo motor. We've done a shovel head motor. We've shown how to, to lap these bearing races before. The only thing is, in this particular case, this being an early motor, that is prior to, what is it, 1955, I believe, there's loose rollers on both sides. Both bearings are loose rollers, so these surfaces have to be restore it a little bit whenever you rebuild it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, on, the, on the later motors, there are, there are tapered Timken bearings, Timken type bearings in there. And so they don't have to be fitted. You replace the whole thing and everything is lovely. It all fits. And you just lap the pinion side. Well, with these old motors, you have to do both sides. So we have the lapping tool with the right size lap in it. And this part right here, which I think is really neat, this goes right here so that I can put the lapping tool through and it can center in that hole. I want to be kind to this and the bearing race, so I'll put a little bit of real nice light oil here. This is not an ad for them, but this just happens to be Marvel Mystery Oil. And see, that went in there and just slid in there so nicely, which is what we wanted to do. Now, as long as we put that marble mystery oil on there, we're going to put some on here, too. And what's that going to do? That's going to make this slide real well in this bushing right here, which we put in the left race. Okay. So now all we need is some light lapping compound. Fine, that is. I said light. I meant fine. So here I'm going to put it on my finger, and I'm going to put just a light coating on this lap. See, we don't want to get carried away. In fact, if that race is worn too far, which I won't know until we're done here and it's all measured and try to fit it up, if it's too worn, have to press it out, put a new one in, and go through the same exercise all over again. So here it is. Now, I, I got a, a, it's like I said, it's just a light, a light, uh, coating, but it's a complete coating. I don't want to 
be putting any completely dry surfaces together. So I'm going to slide that right in there. And I can see it go into the bushing on the far side. You see it in there, Mike? There you go. Now, I don't want to make like I was cheating, but at the same time, I spent quite a bit of time setting this up before, before we started this video. Um, adjusting this, assembling the tool and adjusting it to get ready to do it. Okay, now we're going to just put it in there nice and easy. And what happened? Oops. Well, for some reason, what we got was the tool was not tight enough. And I could have sworn I had it pretty well tightened. Now this is the adjusting end right here. Let's see. Well. <laughs> oh, just go ahead and try to have somebody watch you doing this. There it is. Now we'll see if I got it too tight. I hope not. I thought I had it adjusted pretty well. Yes, one of those collars is one and an eighth and one of them is one and a sixteenth. Okay. Now we'll just put that in there, put that right back in there, and we'll see. Okay, now what we find out is that it's too loose. So the tapered end that spreads it is right down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like that and see what that does. And if that doesn't do it, why, well, we'll do it again. So here we'll go like this. And then we'll go like this. Now that should spread it a little bit. And practice will, of course, get you a whole lot better at it. And I don't do this often enough. But we need to do it a little more. And there are old timers that are watching me right now and just laughing. Hey, look at that kid. And we'll tighten it up again. See if that made any difference. Actually, it took it up just a little bit. So we're going to do that one more time. Keep getting my wrenches confused. That should have got it. Maybe, maybe not. It's not tight enough, it's not tight enough. It's not.
Let's see what that did. It is tighter, but not enough. And I'm afraid I'm just not getting it here. See, that's where the taper is. So we'll go like that. And we'll get right down there with it. Now that should have tightened anything. That may be a little too tight. But, let's see. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, that's a little bit tight. And we're going to turn it and pull it right back out again. Okay. And what we're going to do is have a look at it. So I've got, I had, there it is, flashlight. That rag, get in here and wipe the uh, lapping compound out. And have a look-see. Well, it's not even yet. You can see the, the marks from the bearing races, or the, the space between the races, or the cages, excuse me, the space between the bearing cages. And where the rollers were riding is still a little bit pitted. So what we're going to do is just keep going with it. And we'll just keep going for... Well, you know what? That's got enough right on it still. So we can just keep doing that. Once this side is done, now you'll notice as I turn it, as I turn it, I'm actually feeding it in a little bit at a time and then bringing it right back out again. And we'll continue to do this until we get a nice, even gray finish on that bearing race. Now once that finish is on that bearing race the way we want it, then we will reverse the whole process, reverse the process, reverse the cases, turn them around and go at it from the other side. And that's about it. We'll have that done here in a little while. I think that's about it for now. So until next time, I'll see you out on the road.